Doing a little car camping this weekend, and I thought that I would show you how I handle my dishes as far as cleanup when I'm done cooking. Now, this morning I had, um, I've already had my breakfast. I made a biscuit, some uh, scrambled eggs, sausage, and some white gravy to go on that, country gravy. But anyway, so I've messed up a fair amount of dishes, and I just cooked on my little stove here. I didn't do that on the fire. But anyway, I thought I would just show you how I go about cleaning up all this mess uh, when you... I'm in a campground that does not have any, I have no water hookup and no um, electricity. It's just a primitive site. And I'm not going to take my stuff to the bathroom like I've seen other people do and wash them in the sink. I just think that's gross. Uh, of course, I mean, you have to do what you got to do. But anyway, what I do, I have a uh, this collapsible tub. It came in a two-pack from Amazon. I keep one in my overnight bag that I can use as a makeshift bathtub when I'm out hiking and stuff or out doing different things. I keep one in my chuck box in my that I built that I keep in my front seat right there. I got the doors open and it's this when this falls down it falls down to just next to nothing and will slide in with my plates. And so anyway this is my wash pan. I have heated a little water on my little stove and added it to some cold water in here. Added some dish detergent. And then I've got another collapsible bucket over here that I use. Uh, this is what I'll go get water from, like when I'm at a primitive site. I'll go ahead and catch water at the spigot that's by the bathroom. There is a bathroom here, but it's just toilets only. Uh, I'll catch some water and I'll just use out of this as needed. And um, currently, yes, there is some grungy stuff in the bottom. I think that's mostly pine needles stuff. Anyway, I'm just not going to disturb that. And I'm going to show you how I go about washing my dishes, trying to... Uh, minimize water usage. Alright, so I got my bucket of soapy water and I don't put a whole lot, just enough to get the dishes done. I rinse water and then I've got my lid to the uh, my food box. I just turn it upside down. I usually keep that on top of this to keep stuff from falling in from the trees, but apparently I didn't at some point. You got that debris in the bottom. But anyway, I turn the lid upside down and I use it as my drain rack. So, just give it a wash and I try to always use warm water hot water because that will get the food off better just give it a little dip set it on my drain rack and I tried to I'll start with the least dirty dishes first like I know I've got a I know I have a skillet that has oh I've got a pan that's got some gravy in it I've got to go get rid of that That's pretty much how it goes. Hope that helps you in your figuring out how to do your dishes when you're out car camping. It doesn't take a whole lot of water. Um, you don't have to have a big old basin full. Just, you know, this is a couple inches of water. Maybe not even that much. Maybe about an inch. But just enough to get the job done. And anything that you've got, uh, like this bowl right here I used to mix up my biscuit dough. And then right after that I used it to uh, uh, scramble my eggs. I will add a little water to it and try to get this stuff, any this major stuff that's in here stuck on here, rinse it off. I will do that to get the majority of it off before I put it into here. That way you have less of a problem of, it just makes it easier to clean when since you're using a small amount of water in the container. Hope that helps you a little bit. Happy trails! Something's very interesting. <laughs>